Hello, beautiful souls. So, I'm all comfy because it's getting cold. But um, this is the reading for Gemini for the month of November. Sorry that these are getting out late. My goal was to get them done this week, but then my internet went... <laughs> So I had to get new equipment or something. Anyway. Um, yeah. Mercury retrograde. Bam. So. We are going to jump right in. My beautiful Geminis. Um, if you're new, my name is Amber. I do like to rant from time to time. Welcome. <laughs> and then if you're returning, thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Remember to like if you get a message from me that you can use um, or if it resonates with you in November. Share if you know someone who needs the message. We love to share healing. And also subscribe if you want to see more from me. And um, I do daily posts for the daily energy. Um, I just pick out the messages that really pull to me from that day. So they may be for you, they may not, but it's into the community tab. Also, it's on Instagram, too. Um, I'll see how that goes for a while. I may just keep posting on YouTube. I like YouTube as a platform, so we'll see. But anyhow, let's pray. So, Gemini. Spirit, what do you have for Gemini for the month of November? What would you like for them to know? Pay attention or be aware of at this time. Only align truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within this space. For Gemini, one more card for Gemini, please. One more card for Gemini, spirit. Not two, one, please. Just one. Not two. One more card for Gemini. So I'm feeling like this has something to do with a relationship, for sure. A coupling. Um, trying to get a coupling together of some sort, okay? So, first card we have is Door to Personal Healing and Happiness, which is 34, is 7, um, and then we have the Magician in the Mirror, which is 8, and we have Goddess of the Moon, which is 7. Two sevens, some spiritual work is happening here, okay? Something that's going to take patience, okay? Something that needs your commitment almost to make work. Hmm. Okay. So it feels like to me. That something has the opportunity to happen. There's an opportunity for something to happen or some opportunity for change. I don't know why I feel pushback. Okay. So I feel like you have to make a solid decision for yourself, Gemini. A solid decision for yourself. What it is What it is that you want. What it is that, okay. So what's happening right now needs or you want to reflect what's going on inside. So it's almost like, um, you. If it, it, okay, for example, if you really want to be with someone or... You're, you're mentally in some sort of relationship, but environmentally or in real life, there's some problems getting what you feel to happen in real life type of energy. And there's something that you have to face or agree. They're saying agree with, which is interesting. There's something that you have to face. Um, I feel like you don't know. I feel like things are unfolding as they are supposed to. But it's really about you. It's really about you having trust, faith, commitment to what it is that you want, and looking into that to see if it's the best for you. Almost okay. So I'm using the Modern Witches Tarot. Um, ever since I've gotten this deck, as soon as I put it in my hand, guys, I was like. I'm going to be using this deck a lot. So, okay, Spirit, what do you have for Gemini? Spirit, what do you... Let me cleanse these actually really quick, sorry. Okay. Spirit, what do you have for Gemini? 
do. What do you have for Gemini for the month of November? We have the Two of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. The Six of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, King of Cups, I just heard the Chariot, hmm. Queen of Cups, bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Cups and the Moon, okay. Ooh, Ace of Cups is right underneath that. Interesting. Okay. I heard rekindling. Okay, I'm just going to say what I hear. All right. So, whew, we start off with the Ace of Cups. Okay. So, I mean the Eight of Cups, I apologize. So, in November, you're going to be leaving something behind. Something that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. Okay. Okay. So there's an issue here with the moon card. Well, the cards will be here, so I should move over here. Um, there's an issue with the moon card being here that tells me that um, there's something that you're not particularly sure about, Gemini. Okay? Um, I feel like there's something going on that you have to face. That is my soul work um sort of shadow work card okay is the moon card so you're really in doubt about something and you're at this point where you're not feeling emotionally fulfilled or you feel like something is missing and you're trying to move away from that i don't know if you're trying to move away from the person as much as you're trying to move away from the energy okay uh, I guess it's different for different people because we interpret um, our feelings in different ways. But I feel like spiritually you should be work walking away from the energy, not the person. That's the thing. So maybe a person isn't good for you, okay? Um, and you're leaving that person behind and that's fine. We know what's what's best for ourselves. But it's more about you leaving that energy that that person brought to you behind if that's the case so in November that's really what you're going to be focusing on okay with the eight of pentacles being in the middle I really feel like um, you're going to find something to work on within your love life within your life period that is going to be your main focus and that is what you're going to be working through so I really feel like you're working through something in November, Gemini. Okay, so you either had a decision between two people or if you want to stay or go in a certain situation, okay, and that's where you are. I do feel like you want to work on it, um, but it's almost like you're not sure if you should open up or maybe the person that you're dealing with doesn't want to open up to you, okay? So this could be, I see every sign, I'm going to be honest. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do see an air sign here, but if you're dealing with an air, another air sign, Gemini, um, Okay, they're, they're pulling me all over the place. But if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius other than yourself, you're both going to try to manifest this, 
okay but the problem is you're both hiding your emotions right now and I feel like there's a bit of fear because I feel like you really want it to work if that's the case with those signs but you're hiding your emotions if you're dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius I feel like they want more attention from you or they're trying to get more attention they may also be getting attention from other people as well okay um, and you're really trying to make a decision if this person is ready or if or if things are ready in their life. I almost feel like they're going through something where they are um, connecting with different people in their lives. I'm going to leave that there because this is not their reading. Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, something has changed with this person uh, where they're not giving you as much attention. They're not, they don't have a, as much umph for power behind the things that they were used to doing. And you're trying to figure out why that is. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, It's so interesting because they know that they want to be in love. They know that they want to be with you. They have all these emotions or whatever. But they are holding themselves back. One hour left. Sorry about that. <laughs> they are holding themselves back because they're looking for you to do something big, grandiose. Give them a yes or no. Confess. You know, like they're looking for something big. Okay, but anyhow, they wanted me to get that out first. So you have a decision that you need to make, Gemini. Um, and you know that things need to change with the Wheel of Fortune here. You know that you things need to change. I almost am hearing like, People have things to say about what you're doing. And you have to figure out exactly what you want and move forward in that. So I feel like you're, you're listening to other people. You're taking your environment in. You're seeing um, like what your partner is doing, how things are playing out. How this makes you feel versus what it is that you want and then you're going to move forward on that but you know for sure that you're tired of being in this indecision mode you're tired of waiting you're tired of being in between you're ready to move forward and you're ready to actively participate in moving forward but you have to know exactly what it is that you want to do okay it's like you need the epiphany okay which I feel like you're going to get. You're going to get. I feel like a lot of people have a lot of things to say. Um, or your partner has a lot of things to say. It's interesting because as you start moving forward at the end of November. And you know what you want to do. You're actively participating. And you're actively putting out what it is that you want. Um, because you've made a choice. And you're fully emotional about it. You're all in. I almost feel like the other person you're dealing with is in too. They're in. I, I, and I feel like you understand that you're going to understand more and more as you go on. That this person has some things that they need to deal with. They have their own decision to make. You've made your decision and now they have to make theirs. I do feel like you love this person, though. You love this person. And even though they may be pushing back, I feel like you're still in, too. Um, but it's like you need them to understand that their actions of pushing you back or doing something negative is putting a negative energy in the situation instead of making it positive so it's almost like they need to do the spiritual work as well 
And that's what's happening. It feels like both of you are doing spiritual work and really figuring out where you want your life to go or who you want in your life. You're more adamant about making a decision. This is you. Let's make the decision. Let's turn everything around. Let's agree. Let's let's get it together and then make it happen with the tools that we have. We need to work on it. They're more like... They want to talk about it or do, okay, they're living in their passions right now. They're living in their feelings. They're living in their energy and that's what they're putting out. So if they're mad, they're acting mad. If they're happy, they're acting happy. They're living in their emotions. They know exactly what it is that they want. They need to learn how to express that. That's what's going on. So whatever confusion that's happening within this situation needs to be left behind. And I feel like there's victory in that if it can happen. But the well, work has to be put in. Okay? It's like there needs to be an agreement on both parties. That we care about each other. We know what we want and we're walking forward into it. If that can happen, things will be fine. But the problem with me not knowing if that's going to happen for you, Gemini, which I wish I did, okay, is that we have free will and choices. And because this is spiritual with all the sevens, and it takes trust and commitment from both parties, you know, it's up to you. It's up to, it's up to you all if it comes together. You do have major arcanas here. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the Moon and the Magician. So the Wheel of Fortune says the change is coming. The problem is with the change with the will of fortune being next to magician, change is coming, but when the change comes, are you or are they going to make it happen, right? And that's the question. That's what we don't know with the moon card being here. Because everything else is just minor arcana, it's just the everyday energy. It's just all the extra stuff, right? Okay, so we are going to jump, right? And, oh, and they said the Ace of Cups because it's right here. The Ace of Cups is you all wanting to get things back on track, to get things started, start something new. Maybe even start up a new love situation. But there needs to be some action taken. There needs to be some decisions made. Fear plays a part in this for sure. Okay. So we're going to start off with the Two of Wands. Oh, by the way, we're clarifying. So Two of Wands. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Two of Wands. We have the Eight. I mean, I'm sorry. The Seven of Swords. Nine of... Hold my hand. Seven of, <laughs> seven of Swords. So in the decision, in the indecision, and in the making of a choice, you're worried. Or anxious about making your choice. Again, fear plays a part. Fear that things won't move forward. That there will be problems. That things won't grow. I'm seeing a picture of someone standing there like this. So it's like uh, if you make a, a move or you move forward. That you'll be standing there in your convictions and not being able to step back or not being able to say oh okay well I really didn't want this anyway but she did you know you know what I'm saying okay will of fortune we have the king of wands will of fortune in reverse and the high priestess okay so you want this change to move forward okay that, that's what I feel um, that the things need to move forward. The problem is, um, there's a block. The Wheel of Fortune in re Reverse is about someone going against the energy. So one person wants to move forward, the other person is in fear. Um, I feel like they have secrets or they need to talk about their feelings. Someone needs to talk about their feelings, which I talked about earlier because that's what Spirit told me. On the Magician, we have the Lovers in Reverse. Yeah, someone's trying to make the decision to bring this relationship together, okay? Because they're ready to, they're not ready to let this go. And I feel like you're not ready to let this go. For some of you, for somebody, okay, 
you're holding on too tight to this and the other person doesn't want it okay someone someone should have released something from the past a long time ago you know who you are because it's extremely not healthy okay um you know for a fact that this relationship needs to end for whoever this is your problem is you're holding on way too tight to this because you have this idea of it being some sort of twin flame or soulmate um, connection. But it's time for you to let this go. It's like you're manipulating the situation in your mind to make you feel like this is where you should be, but it's not. And you know who you are. Because it's very... I can feel it. You know who you are. I'm going to leave that there. The Six of Wands... The Six of Wands, we have the Star card. Yeah. Someone has all of these dreams. Dreams about this relationship. For some of you, like I said, there's other people getting involved in this situation. Um, and you may be being manipulated by other people's opinions <clears throat> of this relationship, okay? It could be that your family doesn't like something about your partner or the way they're treating you or something. Um... But you still have hope. And this is going against what you believe about this person. Which is totally not fair. Um, <clears throat> and you're, you, you have faith. You have faith in the situation. I feel like you have the confidence enough to know um, that you want to work on something right now. Somebody is also not happy in a particular relationship. I don't think this is you. I think this is your person. Because the, the energy is different. Um, so they're not... Somebody isn't happy in this relationship. And um, they're trying to find connection in other places. To like build them up. While, while, while they wait or of some sort. Eight of Pentacles... There's, ooh, this is really interesting. Um, because someone isn't working on this relationship or things aren't moving, you're feeling like it's not growing. Like this relationship has a bit of superficiality in it. Um, and you feel you slowly drifting apart. That's frightening. <laughs> and you're, you want to make some sort of change or have something happen, see? This is um this is someone keeping to themselves. This is the story. This person was keeping to themselves and uh just trying to let things pass, trying to let things work out the best way that they can. And they're ready to come out of that. So it's like being in a tough part of a relationship or something and just ready to be in the good parts finally okay I feel like yeah it, it's a must it's like we need to come out of this moon energy we need to there's some imbalance here we're not seeing eye to eye but with the two of pentacles it can be worked on I feel this is one of those twos where it just needs to be worked on it needs to be prioritized uh, it needs to be talked about things need to have uh, physical manifestation okay eight of wands someone has made the choice to express how they feel it could be positive it could be negative but I feel like it has a lot of energy behind it someone is just tired and it's just gonna come out like Bleh. okay whether it's you or them yep <laughs> They're tired and ready to work on things, and that's going to pick up the pace here. Especially, if not, uh, probably towards the end of November or something like that. I mean, it could move fast. Everybody's energy is different. We're all on our own spiritual path, right? So, King of Cups. King of Cups. I don't have any music on. That's craziness. I listen to music every time I do a reading. Okay, King of Cups. 
we have the six of pentacles and the page of swords in reverse <clears throat> I bought some mints so I can stop coughing look at me being proactive okay <clears throat> someone's holding on to their emotions someone's holding on to their emotions and because of this energy coming in rushing really fast okay um, it can seem very unsteady and aggressive and I, it's because they have been watching for a long time they're ready to come out of it and they're just spewing that's what it feels like to me okay so they're spewing all of their feelings and energy and what they want to say and blah 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 okay <clears throat> Because they're in an emotional space with the King of Cups. So the King of Cups, in this instance, it's like they have been building up their emotions. So it's full. It's like a ba they're showing me a bag of marbles. Okay, because somebody just has a bag of marbles. But anyway, so it's like a bag of marbles and they're putting all these marbles in. And then there's a rip on the side of the bag and all the marbles come pouring out really fast that's what it's like okay queen of cups <clears throat> not sure how to interpret this that's what I'm getting okay someone's not sure on how to interpret this situation or what's happening <clears throat> they said all of these things and there could be lots of different responses whether this is you or them they're not very happy with the move that they made but they're waiting they know that this is what they had to do even though it's unsettling or it doesn't feel right and you're waiting on an answer you're waiting on something to happen you're waiting on a move but you know this is what you should have done okay so let's see spirit I'm gonna pull two cards out of here actually spirit tell me how this is gonna follow up after the spewing how is this gonna work out okay several cards fell out <clears throat> so we have the Emperor the five of wands and the four of wands <coughs> Okay, so someone definitely took control, as I told you here, okay? Someone took control. There is going to be a little pushback with the Five of Wands, um, but I feel like that person is really happy that that person took control. It showed them that they cared. It showed them that they wanted something real, and that's what you're going to move towards. So I don't think that it's going to end bad, okay, as long as everybody does the spiritual work and get their energy in an appropriate uh, order, okay? <laughs> but we're going to do oracle cards. I'll be back. Well, hello, Gemini. I am back. This is going to be your oracle card reading. We're going to use the therapy deck. Um, which is cards that I put together for those of you who know me I like to put decks together who don't that don't resonate with me and make a deck that does okay <laughs> and this is where my my mixed decks come from I just give them a name this one is the therapy deck okay so we're gonna do two cards for this Gemini for November spirit what do you have for Gemini in November Gemini November. Gemini November. One more. Gemini November. I'm gonna pull the cards out first and then um we'll talk about the I'll read them off and then we'll talk about them. So I'm gonna use the Romance Angels next. Okay, 
want the card. It came out twice. And the Soul's Purpose Oracle. I just got a message. Um, those of you working on projects, starting new careers, making new moves, put the work in to do it, okay? Don't um, don't get yourself overwhelmed or anxious about it and not make the moves, okay? Um, take, a, take the steps slowly, okay? But you need to make the moves towards getting towards the thing that you love, okay? Um, it may be hard. It may be a bit of a struggle. You may um, hit some roadblocks. You may feel as though uh, there's a bit of confusion if you're doing the right thing, kind of like wavering, okay? But keep going, keep moving forward. Any little step is better than no step. Okay, that's that message. Okay, so you have a life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose, and then your purpose will serve you. That's confirmation for me from the message I just got. Sacral chakra. You are heavy, highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, Process foods and energies right now. Respect your sensitive sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Move away from negativity, Gemini. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so really quick, a uh, message. Those of you dealing with negative energies, negative people, negative situations, um, heavy foods, processed foods, anything that brings your energy level down, anything that um, bogs up or muddles, dirties up your energy um, is causing you to be confused about your decisions and what it is that you want to do. So you need to clear those out or step away from them for a second to regain your own confidence about how you need to move forward. Then we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Me and others. I just saw a little white dog. Is somebody having issues with a little white dog? He has health problems. I want to say he. It may be a girl. I think I automatically say he. There's a little dog. Whatever it is, this um, dog just has health problems. I just feel like someone is trying to nurture a little white dog. It could be a butt, a big bunny. It's just a little white furry thing. Animal of some sort. <laughs> or either someone is sick and they have a little white furry something that they hold. Interesting. Okay. All right. Oracle cards. <laughs> So, um, like I said, you are going to have some sort of purpose or some sort of focus on um, what you want, how you want things to change. Um, Goal-oriented in the month of November. And you're building up your self-esteem or your power in order to achieve that or to make what you want to happen happen okay and that's your way of taking care of yourself that's that way of access assessing your needs it's like the magician in the mirror because I'm seeing it so you're you're paying attention or looking at yourself and going these are the things that I'm not happy with 
these are the things that I want to change and I have to make those efforts to make those changes or figure out what I need to do to make this a more pleasurable area of my life okay some of you have romantic feelings for someone that you can't push back um, you know it's real it just needs work and um, it needs your power your energy to push it through and that's what you're doing um, you're not being codependent and you're not relying on the other person's energy but you're putting forth the energy because you want to you know okay so then for happiness oh well not for happiness I'm just looking at the cards I don't know why you know it's because <laughs> ignore me um, <laughs> yeah that's it alright I mean I'm ending there because it's just repeating the same messages for me alright so thank you so much Gemini I feel like I ranted and raved through your reading. I feel like there was a lot of messages. I hope you got something you needed. If you need a private reading, link's in the description box below. Um, also, you can go to livesinsync.com. That's me. I love you. I'll see you for mid-months. Bye-bye.